Hello everyone, Psychics here, and welcome back to Going Medieval. We're uh, picking up where we left off uh, in the last episode. Well, nearly. Uh, I said I was going to do some off-camera work and uh, build or finish some buildings. I actually finished a building, which was the building that you see right here. Uh, in the meantime, I've also started construction on a, uh, a second part of the building over here, which is basically a workshop. Um, other than that, not much has happened. Uh, I built a fence around our perimeter just for funsies because I had a ton of sticks. Still have about 1,200 sticks or so. Uh, so it was basically just to make some sort of good use of those. And then uh, I've asked my miner to start mining out this area right here and kind of level these things as well. Um, other than that, no major plans right now i want to get into some smelting of iron and stuff um but right now um well i i do have the research as you can see right here i've unlocked the smelting and so it is possible to start doing and we have i believe over here yes there's an iron vein over here so in that category, I'd say we're all good. But um, I'm going to hold on for that for the time being and, and basically see if we can get some stone and stuff and start uh, building the what's going to be the, the iron mill, so to speak, the smelting area. I, I want to build that out of limestone or possibly even clay bricks. We'll see. Um, it's probably, it's probably going to be limestone because... The workbench that is under construction here, I believe. Oh no, it's right there. This is the uh, the stonemason's bench, so we can start making some bricks. Um, so we're probably going to send some people over here and start taking this area out as well. All right, well, enough of me uh, chatting about what my plans are. Let's uh, unpause the game and get into it. I have a f suspicion. Uh, that we're we're so far along here that we might have another settler trying or wanting to join us. Uh, we still have space um, to put in some some extra beds here, so we'll see we'll see how it goes. Uh, right, let's try and get a little bit of hunting in here as well. I actually believe that Hammon, Haman, is is new uh, from the last episode. He's not really great at anything in particular. Um, he's he's good intellectual, but we've got a couple of those. Um, he has a star in mining, so that's one of the things that he's going to be focusing on. But other than that, it seems like uh, everything is just kind of moseying along here. And my plan is to start diving into constructing um, buildings made out of uh, stone bricks or clay bricks. But ideally, I want to flatten this area out just a little bit and start... Um, I was about to say building a castle, but I want to try to turn this into sort of a village thing where we have like different little houses, houses and... Um, workshops and whatnot you know just for funsies just to see the aesthetics so the plan is also to kind of level this area right here and we might end up with two large mining areas one being over here and the other being right around here where you can see we have a good amount of coal and uh, clay as well now let's zoom in and see what these guys are, are doing Still haven't had anyone do any production when it comes to uh, rough wine, which baffles me a little bit, but I think it's because Schubert has been busy cutting down trees. So we'll see if, um, if him going back to cooking will actually have him produce um, some, some rough wine as well. Because right, currently, right now, we don't actually have anything uh, for these people to drink. So that's definitely going to be 
something that affects them in a negative way. Because they really do like to get their drink on. Now, this is a new addition to our workshop. It's, uh, it's for tailoring here. I don't... Oh, I think we still have... Yeah, we have some good winter linen clothes. But we need at least three more. All right, let's set that up. Maybe a little cap. Now, one of the things I haven't figured out uh, under the management thing here, right now I have them grabbing all apparel. Uh, I, I don't know if you're able to, because I, I have one that's called good apparel. Um, but it doesn't seem to me in one of my other playthroughs that they were actually changing up their apparel. Uh, so, for instance, when, when winter came around, it didn't seem like they were actually switching over to winter clothes. How's our mining project going? Uh, it's, it's, it's decent. So again, I'm kind of thinking just because I actually have the possibility to do so, I'm going to put up some fencing around this. I know we can always argue the fact, isn't this overkill? And yeah, probably is. Probably is. I think we're going to just have our entrance here. So now the question is, will Heyman still be able to actually get in here and mine this? I think he will. I think he will. All right, so May Lee and Mr. Perez doing a lot of work here, getting their little, getting our fences up to our mine. My plan is here to uh, have a some stairs going down uh, once this first portion is, is mined and then basically just go down and down and down uh, see um, see what we encounter down here maybe there's actually nothing below this and luckily there's a little bit of um, limestone right over here well the whole the whole squad is coming out oh Schubert's just here to haul resources or oh okay oh he's he's on a run He's, he's all the way up here. Alright, well, yeah, while you guys are out here, pick up some resources, bring them back home. There we go. There we go. So, let's see. Oh, yep. Here we go. Um... Blah, blah, blah. Probably if we say we help him, we're going to get attacked by six people. Okay. 
Let's see. Actually, Grimbold looks like a pretty good addition to our, our rowdy crew here. He has two stars in mining and two stars in carpentry. Also in marksmanship and in medicine and smithing. Uh, well, all right. Welcome to the party, Grimbold. Welcome to the party. All right, let's manage you straight away. Uh, yeah, you're a marksman, so you want some you want some ranged weapons. Get the good shields, the good headgear, and a good armor, of which we have none so far. And we're just gonna copy that. Boom. Get those jobs going. Tending. Yep. Set that as your. Well, not your primary. Set that as two. What do you want? Carpentry. Probably want him mining. Carpentry. Then on the smith. The essence. All right, construction. It's a nine. What do we got around here? We got twelve. We got twenty-four. Eight. Let's put that on a four then. He's got pretty good uh, harvesting skills as well. And he's not a bad chef either. Man, this dude is this dude is good. Uh, all right, you don't have to do any tailoring. You don't have to do any research at all. Uh, we've already got three people who can tailor, so. All right, I think we have him fairly well set up. We'll see. We will see. All right, um, yeah, we need to build a, a new bed. Let's click on that and say copy. And do we have somebody who can expedite that? It's probably going to be melee. she's done eating although it is in the evening so let's wait until that's it let's wait until it's morning and ask her to construct that additional bed so like defensively the most of the people here are mainly archers um, and a couple of people we have using um, like the melee weapons Aren't really... Oh, happy birthday, Melee. 86. 33 years old. Alright, well, I, as I was trying to say here, um... Yeah, our, our Melee characters... Or Melee... Um... Aren't really... Oh, look at that. Mr. Perez is, uh... Is building himself a little bed here. Not get, gonna get his full seven hours of sleep, but I like how he um, prioritized getting the bed done. We still have one more day before the pillagers attacks us, thanks to uh, Grimbolt coming into the fold. Might even be time to uh, start looking at a expanding our uh, leisure room down here so they can enjoy more backgammon. I'm going to wait until our enemies have arrived to start up any new larger projects. I want to make sure that everybody's ready and somewhat rested for, for that imminent attack. But yeah, other than um, building an area for, uh, for a smelting furnace or furnaces, uh, I think the next order of business will be to expand our, our leisure room. Now I'm hoping sometimes when they do this mining, uh, especially in a project like this, um, it seems like they can 
kind of close each other off. So Heyman right here, um, if it's a, it's a Peter, Peter or Grimbolt, if, if they start mining down here, he won't be able to get back. So he sort of gets locked in. Uh, so we'll see if that happens as well. I don't really always understand the, the reasoning why. It's not like, oh, I'm going to, like, where Grimbolt is at right now, it's not like, oh, I'm just going to continue, like, working ahead. Or why wouldn't you start up here and then work your way backwards? It's like, oh, I'm here now, and then I'm going to go somewhere else. Like, see, Heyman was just over here, so now he goes to this spot. So it's, uh, it's fairly random. I mean, as long as it gets the job done, who cares, right? Who cares, right? All right, well, I think that's going to cut it for this episode. Yeah, I know it's, um, well, I'm semi cliffhanger here because we have enemies on the way um but the time is up it's going to be a very long episode of uh, essentially nothing if we have to wait another 15 hours for these enemies to uh to show up so uh that'll be in the next episode is where we take on the enemies um as per usual i might do a little bit of off-camera work preparing for the uh, enemy attack but uh, next episode is definitely going to be us versus the enemies. Anyway, if you've uh, liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more stuff or content like this, drop a comment below. And of course, uh, as always, if you've actually managed to make it this far, consider subscribing. For now, this has been Sidekicks. Thank you very much for watching.